Listen carefully. We can style everybody that we want to style on this planet. But when it comes to the almighty God Yahweh. He is the last man. You must put on your list to style. Because if you believe that you can receive from God. Taking away what from God, what God gives to you. God blesses you with all the blessings. God heal you. God has blessed you immensely. And then you want to style God. You have a next guest coming. You cannot style God. You cannot play stylings with the almighty God. Whether you are a sinner. You are a backslider. Or you are a Christian. Or you are a Rasta. Whatever you are. You can style all your friends. But you cannot style God. Because I am here. To tell my brothers and sisters. God Almighty. Is the biggest styler. Let me repeat. The biggest styler you can find is God. God Almighty Yahweh, He is the biggest styler. You cannot style a styler. Oh. You cannot style a styler. How can you try to style a, a styler? How can you style a man that will just sit where he is on his throne and just send some hurricane? And that beautiful house. That he has provided for you. Him just sink it underneath water. How can you style a man. That sit high on his throne and look down. He can just sit on his throne and send some hurricane. And the car that he bought you. It make water fling it go see. All when hurricane done. And you go to the sea to see if you see your car. You can't find it. How can you style a man like that. How can you style a man like God Almighty? Stop it. Style God. Stop it, my brothers and sisters. Stop it. My God, stop style God because he will just get angry. That man will get so angry and said, okay, this is how you treated me, oh. He will just send an earthquake. You did not expect the earthquake because you did not get a warning that there will be an earthquake. The earthquake just comes sudden. And when the earthquake comes sudden, your house going down in rubbles. You just see the house coming down and crumbling down and drop a ground, everything mash up. House gone down flat. Furniture in a house mash up. Even you get covered under the rubble. How can you style the general? Talk to me now, brothers and sisters. How can you want to style the general? My God is good. My God is good. I teach you all the while that they only teaches you about the good and grateful God. They teach you all the time about the good God. He's so merciful and nice and great. But they did not teach you the angry side of God. So I am divine. Divine one. I will teach you.
you today about the angry side of God. Don't try to play stylings with the Almighty. Because if you play stylings, he will show you stylings. <laughs> ungrateful. And the way how it's you, a lot of us are ungrateful, it is not funny. The Almighty God has done so much for a lot of us. The Almighty God has done so much for us doing our doing your sickness. During your sickness, the Lord has healed you immensely. You are so ungrateful, you never tell God thank you. During your state of hunger, during your state of poverty, during your state when life gets very rough for you, you can't make two ends meet. You have prayed, you have joined prayer lines, you have lifted your faith. God stood by your side when all your friends are gone. Yahweh stood by your side and he stood by, stood by your side through your time of weeping, through your down season. And the Lord wipe your tears and say, never mind. Don't worry, I am about to bless you. The Lord God Almighty came through for you. The Almighty God stood with you through thick and thin. God protect you during your downtime. God Almighty guide you through your down times. God Almighty protect you through your down times. We seem to forget how God has cared for us and provide for us. There was a season when you could not pay your rent. There was a season when you get noticed to leave the place because you cannot afford to pay your rent. There was a season that the JPS cut in your light every month. There was a season water commission cut in the water every month. You cried, you prayed. You went to God and says, Father, when will this season pass? People pray for you. Prayer warriors pray for you. Pastors pray for you. Bishops pray for you. Prophets pray for you. Everybody pray for you. And there become a day when God take you out of your rough season. And a lot of you as women and a lot of you as men, when God take you out of your rough season and provide a job for you and start to upgrade your life, you don't turn your life to the Lord God Almighty and say, Father, I thank you for what you have already done, O oh God, and what you are about to do. A lot of you as men running up and down, chasing behind women, with the blessings that God has given to you. Oh God Almighty, I'm talking to somebody. I'm not sure if you're hearing what I am saying. I say, God, Yahweh has blessed a lot of you as men. God Almighty has blessed a lot of you as men immensely. Take you out of poverty. I don't know if somebody hearing me this morning. Double, double. I double double oh, when God giving you double double, you're ungrateful. Huh? I said God has blessed a lot of our men. Take you out of suffering. Take you out of low the bar. Low the bar means embarrassment because when JPS caught the light. 
When water commission cut the water, when the rent bank up, bankrupt, God has provided job for you. God has provided destiny helper for you. And instead of you chasing behind the house of God, chasing behind prayers to God, you're chasing behind women as if these women has blessed you to put you in the position where you are. A lot of women also were in your down season. Nothing happening for you. No man not notice you. Because you can't even wear a good pair of shoes, much less clothes. And the Almighty God has blessed you immensely. Bless you with a nice house and a nice car. Upgrade your life so high that you yourself cannot understand how you have been so blessed. And after God been blessing you, taking you out of Lodibar, you don't chase into the house of God and say, let me serve God fully because God Almighty has been so good. A lot of you women chasing after men. Me want a husband, me want a husband, me want a man as if he's the man has provided all these things for you. But it's all right. God says it's okay. We need to check ourselves as people of God and also as unsaved people. We need to check ourselves. We must stop for a while. Separate ourselves from people. See when we were down on our face. Who stood by your side when you was down? If it was only God, you have to stick with the Almighty God. You need to see the path that you are taking. Where we are heading. You cannot head into the path of the Hobia man to keep your wealth when the wealth and the blessing came from God. There is no way God, there is no way you sit underneath prayer and God raise you out of poverty. The Almighty God blesses you upgrade in your life and after God Almighty has Place his hands on you through your prophets, through your pastors, through your evangelists. And all of that came in one with prayers and dedication. God has blessed you immensely. Now you are turning to the Obia man and the witchcraft man to get assistance. Did the Obia man blesses you? The car that you bought, was it the Obia man by the car? The house that you bought, was it the Obia man by the house? The job that you are in, was it the Obia man that get you the job? The upgrade in your job, was it the Obia man bless you to give you upgrade in your jobs? Check yourself thoroughly. Check yourselves and repent from all these evil. Check yourself. You're going to check self-value. Check self-respect. You're going to check self-love. You're going to check self-joy. You're going to check self-peace. I'm going to repeat this area again. The Lord God has blessed you with everything that you prayed for. Jobs, house, cars, blessings, 
and the whole works. After the Almighty God and the prior warriors prayed up your strength constantly, not just one time, constantly, you're running to a Obia man because the pastor can't hold you again. The prophetess can't hold you again. You get too big and high. But I am hearing this morning the Holy Spirit said you must check self-value. Check self-respect. Check self-love. Check self-honor. Check self-joy. Check self-peace. Check yourself. And the last but not least, check yourself and search your heart. You must show gratitude and respect and honor, love for God Almighty who have blessed you. Yahweh has blessed you immensely. When you were sick, you went to every Obia man for healing. You get so many baths. You went to every doctor for healing. You got so many medication. You're taking pill. You're taking injections. And you can't get better. But God. But Yahweh. When the doctor gave up on you and said, there is nothing more we can do. You just have to keep taking the pills and taking the medication. You're constantly going to the Obia man. And the Obia man keep giving you bath. Oil of this, oil of that, oil of this, powder this, powder that. And you're in the same state. Then you choose the Almighty God last. You have chosen Yahweh last. You have chosen the Messiah last. It's like God is not value into your life. You choose the Almighty God last when your life wreck and pop down. Gratitude is a must. How can a man that shine the sun and fall the rain and load you breath that you breathe provide for you so much and when you are in trouble you check God loves. How can you check a man like that last? You run to your doctor first. You run to your Obia man. You run everywhere and then you come to turn yourself to the prior warriors for prayers. For God to help you as if you think God is stupid. Now God has healed you. Blessed you immensely. You are all up in your glory. Now that you are in your glory, you are up into your feelings. You have attitude as if... You don't need God no more. You are up into your lavish lifestyle now because God heal you. God provide for you. God bless you. So you're up into your glory. You're up into your feelings and attitude. It's like people cannot talk to you because you're too huge now. Up into your lavish lifestyle. Hop into your happiness. Hop into your show offness. Hop into space. But you are not hopping to God. You hop into everything except God. Therefore, God has found out we cannot be trusted. Listen up now. We are at verse. 
We are at number five. We are up into ourselves, but we are not up into God. We are up into our happiness, up into our lavish lifestyle, but we are not up into God. Therefore, God found out we as people cannot be trusted. We are very ungrateful to God. We never share what God has blessed us with. We are full of greediness. We are full of selfishness. We the people are full of lust. We are full of fornication. We are full of seduction. And all the above. We step out of the glory of God. We step out of the glory of Yahweh and his existence. And we step into selfishness. Abominable things. Fornication and all these things. But I got news for you now. My brothers and my sisters. My brothers and my sisters, I have news for you this morning. And when I said I got news for you this morning, I got some serious news for you this morning. My brothers and sisters. Sisters, my brothers and sisters, I got news for you. And when I said news, I have the good news for you. And listen to the news. We can style our friends as much as we want to style our friends. We can style our neighbors 